Ever seen a blind man cross the road Trying to make the other side Ever seen a young girl growing old Trying to make herself a bride What becomes of you, my old love, when they finally strip you off? Handbags and the glad rags that you bore, old granddad had to swim to buy you. How's it going folks, this is Wayne R back with another lesson and an amazing song as always today we're looking at the Stereophonics version of Handbags and Glad Rags. Uh, this is a great song, obviously made famous in the famous series The Office. Uh, now I have done another version of this one probably about six years ago and that version with a capo on the first fret is probably more accurate to the way that Kelly actually plays it. This is a new version, sort of an updated version, the way that I play it at my shows now. It's a more beginner friendly way. Uh, there's one sort of tricky-ish chord in, but there's no bar chords, but uh, as I say, most beginners could probably play it this way, and it works perfect. So there we go. Now, if you do want the chords, lyrics, and strumming pattern to this, as always, I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page, so there'll be a link to that in the comments, also a link in the description. And the way that that works, you just click on the link, sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month, or however much you guys want to pledge, it's up to you. It's all very much appreciated, it all generally goes back into the lessons. And it gives you guys access to not only this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past just over three and a half years now, so there's a lot of content up there. There's also some exclusive videos that are on YouTube, there's videos there from the archive, and there's also stuff to coincide with some of the technique lessons we've done as well. So if you're into scales and blues stuff that I've done, what you're waiting for, link in the comments, link in the description. If you don't want to do that and you'd like to show some appreciation in a different way, I've got a new feature which you'll find just underneath the video there. It's a super thanks link. You can click on that and make a small donation. Again, very much appreciated. Uh, thanks for your continued support. Thanks everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so. Now, if you are subscribed and you haven't got round to it or you haven't done, you know, already for whatever reason, a further way that you could help me out and yourselves out is by hitting that little notification bell. Again, you'll find that just underneath the video there. And what will happen, you'll get a notification every time I post a video out so you can keep up to date with all the videos. And another way that you could help me out, if you want to, please go over and give me a like on social media. So I'm Wayne Arguitar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I'll also TikTok, as you always say. I'm trying to get down with the kids. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, but as you can see, for this version, you're going to want the capo up on the third fret, okay? Now, the chords to the intro, which are also the same chords that run through the verse, are going to be a G chord. Now, I'm using a four-finger G. Um, now, the second chord, this is... What I probably say is the most tricky chord is a G slash F, okay? So from that G chord, we're going to keep the two fingers on the E and the B string. We're going to switch the first finger to the first fret on the low E string relative to the capo, and we're going to put the second finger on the second fret on the A string. And that gives us that G slash F chord, okay? The next chord is a C. You can play the regular C. I actually played the C with the you know with the G bass in, so that's just taking a regular C chord, moving the third finger to the third fret and the low E string relative to the capo, little pinky third fret on the A. We can just do the regular C chord, and the next chord is a D. Okay, so if we play those chords, we've got the G, G slash F, C, D. That goes around twice for the intro. Now the chords to the chorus are going to be an E minor, let me go to a D, let me go from a G to an A, and then a C, and then into a D, and let me go back into the verse chords again. 
So what we get is What becomes of you, my love When they finally strip you off And bags on the glad rags that you pour the verse goes there and that goes around twice and then we're back in exactly the same into the verse uh, and that is more or less you know the meat and potatoes of the song uh, we got another verse another chorus after the second chorus we got this little instrumental part so the first time through we're just going to go through the you know the regular verse chords so that's going to be a G G slash F C D the second time round G slash F and then it'll go C it just does this little push from the C chord to the G so C C G C C sing a song of six spoons for you say okay and back into the verse chords again uh, so we just got another verse there another chorus uh, the last chorus repeats two times round and then the outro is just going around the verse chords That's pretty much, you know, like I say, the meat and potatoes of the song. So a nice sort of easiest version, and I think this version works really well, you know. And if it's, you find it's in, you know, too high of a key for you, the beauty of using a capo, you know, you could lower the capo, or you can take the capo off and play this version, makes it a little bit easier to sing. So there we go. So that just leaves us with a strumming pattern. Now, in the verse on the half-time chords, I tend to play a down, down, down up. So if you hear that on the chords, we've got a down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So that's a down, 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 up. And then the chorus, uh, the chords, you know, go for a bar or longer. I tend to do a down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. So if you hear that, we got. Okay, so thanks very much for watching hope you all dug that and as you always say at this point in my lessons come on if you don't like that song you don't like music so there we go it's a great song always reminds me of the office now you know i can't hear this song without thinking of david brent so there we go and uh, if you don't like this version as i say i think this is a beginner friendly version it's a, a great way to play but if you want the sort of the bona fide proper note by note version more or less uh, go and check the lesson i did out uh six years ago in fact i'll probably put a link to that in the comments if you want to go and check that out and check that version out as well but uh, as i said i you know really like to play this version at a lot of my shows now because it's easier and uh, as i say you can if you're not up to it on the night you can you know put the capo down sing it in a lower key so there we go if you got any other requests for any other stereophonic songs or it doesn't have to be stereophonics i've done quite a lot of stereophonics a lot of the obvious ones it can be anything 50s to modern day it's going to work well on acoustic or an electric guitar within reason so the easiest way is obviously comment in the comments below the video or if you want to find me a personal message over on those social media platforms i suggested at the start of the video you're very welcome to i just always point out that i do get quite a lot and i do have to sort of hemp it them a little bit but don't let that put you guys off. Please do keep your requests coming because that's what keeps this channel going and it's very much appreciated. Another thing that's very much appreciated, I quickly mention it again. Thanks everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so. Now if you are subscribing, you haven't got round to it or you haven't done it already, please hit that little notification bell so you can keep up to date of all the videos. The patron thing, sorry to keep banging on about it. You want the chords, lyrics and strumming patterns to everything I've done over the past just over three and a half years now, as well as some bonus content. You'll find that on my Patreon page. So there's a link to that in the comments. Also a link in the description. I've got the super thanks link. I do apologize for all this pointing. You'll find that just underneath the video there. If you'd like to make a small donation, again, massively appreciated. And another way that you guys could help me out, this doesn't cost you a penny, but it's very effective. I always say word of mouth is a powerful thing. So if you dig what I do, please like and share my videos. Tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone you know plays a guitar, please point them in my direction. 
So that just leaves me to say whatever time of day it is you're watching, maybe morning, day, night. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you all for lesson very soon. Take care.